Good morning. Okay, you know what time it is. To show time. Good morning. Oh, missing the wave button. Oh, no. Good yes. Yes. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, everybody. The Tessie Dew Show. Hey, Mom. Welcome to the show. Drinking tea. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I got a heart for you, Mom, and saw that. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the show, everybody. Um, so if you're new to the show, I dance to a theme song at the beginning of every show because that, show, that theme song was written and produced for me by one of my friends and yoga teachers, Deuce Bennett. Round of applause for him. You can come take his yoga class at my yoga studio, or you can go watch one of his shows. He plays a lot around in Austin, but um, he's wonderful. So anyways, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Today, today's show, um, the theme, I would say, are very beautiful fruits and vegetables. We are using pineapple, Fennel, which is not as beautiful anymore. If you saw the picture that I took of it yesterday, so beautiful because it has all of its like stems and like branches and like it's just it's just really a beautiful vegetable. But um, you can't juice all that stuff, so we we just basically cut the bottom off. We're gonna juice the bulb, a fennel bulb, all, also known as anise, and ginger. So we only have three ingredients today, but three really good ingredients. I'm excited about what the shoes is going to taste like. It's probably going to be um, it's probably going to be a very bold juice again, just like last week. Um, but it's going to be wonderful. So I can't wait. Um, I'm going to tell a little story about ginger today because ginger. Well, okay. Let me take a little side side uh, path on this ginger story. I find it very interesting, I've, I've talked about this on the juice show before, that redheads are called gingers because if you, well I can't quite break that, if you cut open ginger it's yellow on the inside. Not like my hair, like why am I called a ginger? Um, so that's interesting, but I feel like turmeric is a much better uh, representation of my hair. I actually have some turmeric. Let me just show this here. This, my friends, is turmeric. The inside of turmeric is orange. I don't know. Maybe we just need to start a new theme here. Anyways, I get sidetracked. Ginger. The story of ginger goes back 5,000 years. Chinese philosopher Confucius discovered its healing properties. So ginger has been used for medicinal purposes for a long time. Um, we're going to use it for taste and medicinal purposes today. Um, it was a symbol of wealth and fertility by the Romans. And in the 13th century, one pound of ginger was equivalent in value to one sheep. I love that little tidbit. I've, every time I talk about, well not every time, but most of the time I talk about ginger, I like to include that because I think that's very interesting. Um, ginger improves your digestion because it awakens taste buds, produces saliva, and it aids in digestion as well. Um, ginger is said to relieve congestion and cold because it has antibacterial properties. Um, oh hey, good morning Brandon. Good morning, everybody. Um, 
It also has, and, uh, we're talking about ginger, has anti-inflammatory properties and acts as a pain reliever as well. Um, the chemical compound reduces hypertension or high blood pressure. So ginger is really good and it tastes really good. It's like a sweet spice. Um, I like to, it's kind of, comp if you've never, I mean, most people have had, uh, most people have had, um, <laughs> good morning. Most people have had ginger before, but it's similar to in taste to cinnamon if you haven't had ginger before. So real ginger. All right. Now we're going to talk about pineapple. Pineapple is probably one of my favorite fruits. I would say it's between mango and pineapple. Um, yes, Ayurvedic study. It's an important part of my life as well. Definitely a, an area of my life that I need to learn more on. But I really value Ayurvedic, um, what, Ayurvedic, uh, what's the word? Philosophy? Uh, okay, so pineapples. Pineapples are South American originated, and they uh, they're named pine. They were named pineapples by European explorers that compared them to a pine cone. I mean, like I get it. Like that makes to totally makes sense. Um, pineapples are high in antioxidants. They have enzymes that can fight inflammation and disease. Uh, they also aid in the di aid in digestion because of the enzyme bromelain that they contain. So very important. Um, they boost your immune system. They speed up recovery from surgery or exercise. So I think it's a um, pineapple is a really good post workout snack or even pre workout snack too. Man, someone's blowing up the heart section. Sweet, thank you. <laughs> um, also, pineapples are high in vitamin C and manganese. Now, you might not know what manganese does for your body, but um, manganese aids in growth and helps you maintain a healthy metabolism. Pineapple is good for you. It is very sweet, yes, it is a treat, but it also has some redeeming qualities as well. Okay, and last but not least, we have fennel. Fennel bulbs are uh, really good for your digestion and anemia, and people who have anemia. It's very soothing on the stomach, which uh, because it encourages more digestive juices in the stomach, very similar to ginger as well. Um, let's see, what else? Fennel also contains phytochemicals that maintain joint health. They prevent rheumatoid arthritis, speeds up the healing of damaged muscles and tissues, almost identical to the benefits of pineapple. Fennel is also antibacterial and antifungal. So good. Um, high in vitamin C and promotes healthy eyes as well. So when I put these three ingredients together, I don't think I realized how many um, similarities that they have. Good morning. Um, I think it was just, I, want, I liked the taste of all three of these things and I figured that they would go together really nicely. But I think they will, but I also am surprised at how similar all of their benefits are. So, so good. Okay, and that's, that's all of the benefits we're going to talk about today because we only have three ingredients. Oh, I got to talk about my outfit today. I don't know if you can see. Oh, hello. Um, this is a skirt. This is actually a skirt that I got in New Orleans when I was just there um, in March, I guess. New Orleans has really good vintage shopping, and I got this at a little vintage store. Um, and then this shirt is from my mom. These earrings I got in Idaho at a store I used to work at. So yeah, going with kind of monochrome, monochromatic cream theme today. Okay, let's get into cutting up this pineapple because the pineapple is going to be the biggest job that we have today. But a little known fact well, more and more people are getting to know it, but you don't have to cut off the top of a pineapple. You just have to like, um, <laughs> yes, 
Thank you, Pear. You have to just spin it off. It's really easy. We're going to set that aside because we're going to put it in the compost. And, okay, now though, one other thing about pineapple that's important to know, so I'm kind of like dodging, or not dodging all over the place, but kind of like bouncing all over the place. Pineapple, you're going to cut off the, the skin, right? Because you can't juice that. You're going to discard that. But then the core of the pineapple, it depends on if you're going to cut up Andromedas, good morning. It depends on if you're going to cut up for eating or for juicing. So if you're cutting up for juicing, you can juice the core, but you don't want to eat the core. The core is too tough. Okay. So, dang it, I forgot to get out a bowl for my, for my pineapple discards. Oh, and I'm just drinking black tea today. Nothing too exciting. Black tea with honey. I'm still still off coffee, everybody. It's been like a, like a while. It's been a minute. Okay, how much? I think we're going to use about half of this pineapple today. We're going to start with half and see how we do from there. So I'm just going to cut this in half. Morning. Just going to cut this in half like so. Mmm. This looks like a really good pineapple. Now, how to choose your pineapple? It depends on when you are ready to eat it. If you want to eat it that day, you want to get it to be like this color. Like a golden yellow. If you want to wait like a couple more days to eat it, get like a light green, light, or excuse me, a dark green, like light yellow color and it'll ripen on top of your fridge or wherever. Just don't put it in the fridge. It'll ripen in like a few days. Okay, we're just gonna roughly cut this because if I was gonna eat it, I would be a little bit, I'd pay a little bit more attention to it because you don't, this stuff can be kind of sharp on the outside. But if you're just gonna stick it through the juicer, you just basically need to get that like hide off. And then, um, it doesn't matter with the rest of it. Oh my goodness. Pineapple, so good. Okay, now we're gonna cut it into little like chunks too. I suggest, however much patience you have, cut up your fruit into as small chunks as you as you have enough patience for. Meaning, don't stick like a huge chunk of anything through your juicer. Too much. Even if it's like a really nice juicer like mine, you don't want to like overwhelm it, you know? Happy new day to you, too. Okay. Now, with our fennel, I already cut off all the stems. Now we're going to cut off like this bottom chunk here. And if I wasn't left-handed, you'd be able to see what I'm doing more. But yes, I everything everything that could be weird about a human is me. <laughs> or not weird, but just not common. Okay. Young. I think we are ready to juice, everybody. This is a quick one, quick prep. I already cut up my ginger into little chunks. I like to cut them into like little, I don't know, what's the size of this? Like half of my thumb, but I'm doing three of those. Three half, so one and a half thumbs worth of ginger. That's a lot of ginger though. So I just really like the taste of ginger and I'm a ginger. So maybe not as much ginger for you if you're not like a spicy fan. All right. I'm gonna rinse my hands off. Pineapple 
make sure after you're done cutting up your pineapple to like rinse your hands off because it's really sticky, but it also kind of like can start to irritate your skin after a while. I've found that. All right. We're going to, um, what's the word? We're going to alternate pineapple, fennel, ginger, pineapple, fennel, ginger until it's all gone. Oh, before I turn on the juicer, because it will be kind of loud, you won't, might not be able to hear me, um, I wanted to talk about the meditation that we're hosting on Friday. Um, it's the Sit and Shed with Brandon, um, and it's a really just wonderful event. It's free for everyone, but we have moderate, or moderate, um, we have a finite amount of spaces so you have to sign up ahead of time or just send me a message either here on yoga east austin or you can um, dm my personal page tessa mcfabulous and you can get a spot but uh, it's really great it's basically it's a guided meditation for beginners or for people who've been meditating for a long time and maybe you just need you know someone you just want to meditate with your community please come it's really fun we do it the third friday of every month so yeah i made this my oh the time thank you the time of sit and shed is at 7 p.m 7 p.m at my studio yoga east austin um yeah please come it's a really it's really fun and brandon is wonderful he's like gonna guide you to like a new space in your head and um yeah he's great so let you can even message brandon if you want a spot or if you just have more questions about it he's b tyree on instagram okay let's make juice just doesn't want to go through there. Okay, let me turn this so you can see the juicer. Thank <laughs> you. 
I would also consider fennel a treat as well. Fennel is um, kind of expensive. Um, so like it's not like something that I would, uh, I don't juice fennel frequently. One fennel bulb is usually around four bucks. So that's like a lot for one vegetable, one fruit, you know? So, but it's worth it. Fennel is really good. It tastes really good and it's really good for you. So. You gotta treat yourself every once in a while. Four dollars doesn't sound like a lot, but if you juice every day, you're juicing, you want your cost of your juice to be like three, four dollars total of all the ingredients. So, anyways. Everything in moderation, like my mom always says. Right? No hurt from that, no? <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good so far. This is always what happens on the show. It's like I like want to just talk to you guys, so like I get distracted. I'm like, oh, I gotta stay focused. So I'm making juice. channel. It's called Yoga East Austin. I put all of the juice shows up there and a bunch of classes too. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can always watch the show live on our Instagram page, which is Yoga East Austin. Uh, the live starts at 9 a.m. on Wednesdays. 9 a.m. Central time, Texas time. <laughs> That one's so weird because it doesn't taste like what you would think. Oh, hi, Sam. It doesn't taste like what you would think it tastes like because it looks like an onion, but it tastes like not like an onion at all. It tastes like, like black licorice. Too. Okay, we're going to pause here and empty our cup. Sam, I wonder if this brings back memories for you. Sam and I used to live together and I would juice every morning. And then when I moved out, I got a new juicer and gave her my old juicer. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you just gotta like the chain chain of events. I wonder if you still have that juicer. Woohoo! 
Okay. So the cup is empty. Normally we have like citrus in the bottom, but no citrus today. Pineapple is pretty like citrus, like acidic. So we're not going to do an added acidity to it. Okay. We're not done yet because we still have to run the pulp through the juicer. So let's do it. Because the pulp is like, it's almost like, 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 um, applesauce consistency is a little bit thicker than that but that means that there's still a lot of juice in it so we need to like run it through the machine until it's dry almost like sawdust type feeling definitely still have it yes awesome yeah I love juice too <laughs> it's, it's the best best way to start your day all right Round two is the pulp. Juicer, exactly. That was, I thought about him the other day and I was like, that was just so nice that he gave me that juicer. The juicer that I have now was from the computers being weird. The juicer I have now was from our next door neighbor. I know you know that. I'm just telling you. I'm telling the crew. Okay. But I had forgotten his name, so that's that I'm glad that you told me that. Ed. Okay. Hello. We're gonna run the pulp through once more. It's it's looking pretty dry now, like a lot drier than last time, but I think we got one more, one more go around. Yoga Studios join and watch. Hey. All right. Just waving left and right, y'all. Here, see, we got a lot more juice just from the pulp. We got like half as much as we got last time. So the pulp is where it's at, folks. You gotta juice it. I have a prediction about the way this is gonna taste. I feel like the pineapple taste, the pineapple and ginger taste, might overwhelm the taste of the, not overwhelm, but take over the taste of the um, fennel. I have a feeling I might not be able to taste the fennel very much because the fennel it's kind of a lighter taste as it is, and pineapple is such a bold taste, and so is ginger. But who knows? That's just my prediction. Okay. Oh, wow, I just realized that my outfit and my pineapple juice is kind of, they all kind of go together. Um, hello. Uh, so anyways, that was, that was not intended. 
but but cool, a cool side effect. Like, whoa. Um, okay, let's cheers to it being so hot outside <laughs> already, so hot. But um, that's okay, you know. Like, I I had a prediction on how this summer was going to go, because you know this winter in Austin was really weird. It was not a traditional winter in Austin. I had a feeling that we were just going to get rained on all summer, but that is wrong. So that was wrong. I mean, it still could happen, but I just knew I know that this somehow this weather is going to be different. Um, yeah, Barton to cool off. I was going to go yesterday, but I kind of ran out of time. But yeah, Barton, Barton's the jam. So how about that? Cheers to Barton Springs. <laughs> Yum. Really, really good. Um, not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. <laughs> I, it tastes very gingery. I probably should have put a little bit less ginger in it. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not, I don't dislike it. Oh, Amy, you just made it. <laughs> I was just finishing up. Um, I like it. It's, it is sweet and spicy not I hardly taste the fennel at all I kind of knew that was gonna happen though because fennel even though we use that big bulb of it it has such a faint taste in it when you juice it it's like barely there it's almost it's almost good Bob Wentz Park at Google. okay I will um, but it tastes okay so it, the first thing I'm tasting is like sweet like mild sweetness, but a big kick of ginger as well. And then if I really just like let it sit in my mouth, it tastes like the fennel too. So like all three are present, but the fennel is, is very light, a very light taste, but I love it. Um, this is a good one. I would say this is a good, like, um, you, won't, you, won't, you don't want to make this one frequently. Cause it's it's sweet and it's like it's a treat but this would be a good one to make you know every once in a while this would also be a good one to do like if you're wanting to bring something to like a party and you don't want to bring like the traditional like boring dip or something bring like a nice pineapple juice that people can either just drink or they can like add you know alcohol to if they want to but it's always nice to bring something fresh that you made um, I always like doing that. Whenever people invite me to parties, I usually bring juice. <laughs> so, anyways, that's the show for today, everybody. Thank you for watching. I recommend this one. It's a good one. Pineapple, fennel, ginger. If you want to come to the meditation, send me a message. Um, I'm also teaching a three-part Bikram yoga workshop at the end of June and the beginning of July. So if you want to come to that, please message me as well, because that's going to be really good, especially if you like the Bikram Yoga sequence, because that is like, it's, it's, there's not a lot of time to think in that class or to even ask questions. It's just like, go, go, go for 90 minutes. So this is your opportunity to really ask all the questions that you have. Um, and maybe you learn something that you didn't even know you had a question about. That's like the best way for it to happen. Um, message me about that too or you can just sign up online uh, yeah that's it thanks for watching oh I forgot to um, wave at you see you next week thank you for watching please subscribe <laughs>